Hello, it's a perfect day here in Melbourne today. This is the garage I built 20 years ago. And uh, between the floor and the trusses, it's three meters. So I got uh, lots of uh, clearance for my trailer lift. Um, yes, so anyway, this is my trailer here, my beloved trailer, which I had for 10 years. It's a well-engineered trailer. But as you all know, if you've got a trailer, they always get in the way. Um, if you put them in the driveway, they go rusty because it's not galvanized, but also they're in the way. If you want to drive past or whatever, they're always in the way. And if you put them inside the garage, they're taking up um, important you know, uh, garage space that you want to do other things with. And in my case, I would park my beloved um, Colorado in here. But anyway, so this trailer here, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy trailer, 350 kilograms. I'm not sure what that would be in, uh, in pounds, but it would be like about 700 pounds or something. I'm just working it off the top of my head. So, yeah, so the, first of all, I don't, I don't recommend anybody building a, uh, a trailer lift because it can be very dangerous especially when you're lifting heavy objects above your head, you could um, um, cause se serious injuries or death or cause a lot of damage. So if you know what you're doing, this is what I've done. And um, I think it's come up pretty good. Now, this is the, um, I think I've got the ladder on the wrong spot. This is my winch here, which is a um, inexpensive. I, I think I paid $160 for it. Uh, on a single um, cable pulls 400 kilograms. Uh, double with the uh, snatch block down here can lift 800. But what I've done is actually I've put a, a, a second snatch block, that red one, and I tripled the cables. So now you can lift 1,200 kilograms, which is way more than what the trailer weighs. Uh, so now starting off with the attachment point, I put up a shelving during during <laughs> during our lockdown, COVID, and uh, and that kept me busy, and I and I'm glad I did that. That blue span across here, that's rated at 850 kilograms. So it's, it's a pretty heavy-duty commercial shelving system. Now, from there, I put a square tubing, uh, so there's no to the masonry to the masonry wall. There's nothing resting on trusses because these trusses are not designed to to lift a trailer. So then, on the other side, again, I, I got that big square tubing across, and it uh, goes onto this uh, part of the. Uh, masonry on this side and then these two H, H beams they go from that side of the square tubing to the other side and it's all bolted down and again on the other side up there there's the uh, H beam across the two sides um, to the other, the other side up there all bolted down then uh, I've got that Two smaller uh, square tubings. I think it's like one and a half inch or one and three quarter inch square tubings that uh, on either side of that um, winch, and uh, they are bolted down to both I beams. Um, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, now another thing before I go down, I want to show you here. These are the safety hooks. So I got on each corner, I got safety hooks, and uh, for reason you're going to see later. I've got a spring here, so you can come up and go down. So when you hook up, then you, you, it'll go up by itself. And that's, will hook up un, underneath the trailer. Otherwise, you, you just be there forever. Um, so anyway, I'll show you with the remote control what the speed of this thing is. Uh, sorry, first of all, I'll show you the first safety, safety I've done. It's actually, when it goes up, it's got an automatic stop. So before you do any damage, this will stop automatically. Okay, so this is a, that stopped automatically because 
that uh, piece of timber up there activates the switch and uh, and and it's a perfect perfect height for the trailer before the trailer can do any damage uh, now I'm just gonna go down Then the next thing I've done is actually extended, extended the cable because this wasn't long enough, and you don't want to stand underneath, underneath the trailer when it, when it's when it goes up or down. That's the speed. See, it's a, because it's a, it's got two snatch blocks. That's been reduced quite a bit, but it's good in one way because you don't want it to go too fast. If something does happen, you, 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 it, 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 it's slow enough to do something about it. Now, get this in. now this uh, this is a 50 mil square tubing, and it's uh, in the middle here. I've got a U bolt, um, and that's welded on underneath, welded on both sides. Also, I've got a piece of Rio from one side to the other that will strengthen that um, square tubing. Then, uh, from the lifting arm, I've got two clamps. And uh, these clamps are held up by the chain. And this chain is the same as the safety chain up, up the top. It's a six millimeter chain. And it's rated at 500, 580 kilograms, which is... Uh, Plenty strong enough because you don't want that to break. Uh, so this is a, just a, a metal plate welded on this side. My welding is not the best, but it's okay. And welded internally. So it's just two, and then I've got the other, um, uh, just a scrap metal bit of uh, angle welded on the other side. And I put a pin, a pin here, okay? So first of all, the pin wasn't there. You, you attach it to the trailer and the best what the best way to attach my trailer because you've got a double lip here and this is the strongest point was actually to put the angle underneath here lift it up a little bit find the balancing point once you find the balancing point you drill a hole and that'll and then you weld the pin here and that'll that'll guide through the hole and it'll stop it from sliding because if if the clamp is here and it starts sliding sideways when you're lifting it the whole trailer will come tumbling down. Um, so that's the idea. Anyway, we're just going to go down. I'll just show you here. So you put this under, underneath, and uh, when uh, when the pin comes through, and that's un underneath, that's supporting the trailer really well. That's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to slide. It cannot slide, and it's 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 perfectly and it's a lot better than a bolt. If you if I was going to put a bolt, then you got to put that nut on and, and whatever. This pin it's easy because it just stays there and uh, and you forget about it. I'll just put you on hold for a minute. Okay, basically then uh, when you put uh, both uh, both uh, pins through uh, and. And everything, and everything looks, looks secure. Uh, then it's uh, it's time to lift the thing up. And uh, okay, so so you lift it up in the air now. Now it's off the, off the floor, and it's considering it's all one single point because you got everything balanced so well. It's actually just very very level, and the wheels are off the floor. Uh, so now it's a matter of uh, you can still swing around okay so you got to steady it and keep it straight on on its way up but it's no big deal because it's not that uh, not that hard to do and I'm doing it with only one hand okay so we're gonna go up now and um, it's a good speed as it gives you plenty of time to react if something does go wrong Everything up there is working really well. And it, like I said, with a longer cable, you're not standing underneath it, which is uh, ideal. Now, every time it goes up, I'm getting a smile on my face. 
because uh, you actually define gravity a bit uh, um, Tesla never designed the trailer lift so that's the stop position up there um, but it's not secured so you've got to be careful now so to stand on the side and uh, you put the hooks underneath best you can probably start with this one here okay so we got one up with the spring and that stays there that's good and you really got to do it with two hands so you, you, you like I said you, you you pull the string down, you put the, the spring down, and then you hook it, and it just stays there. Okay? So then you do it on this side again, and sometimes it doesn't really work because it's too high up. And then the, this one here. Okay, so that's in place. I'll just lower it down a little bit for the last hook to go on. So one little bit down, and then uh, that's in place. So now you look at, look at it, all the hooks are in place. That's all good. And that's all good. So then you, you lower it down and let the safety chain take the weight. Although you're not gonna lower it down all the way, you're just leaving the winch up, but not tight. Uh, now, when I stand back, this is unbelievable. Uh, this wheel, the lowest part of the trailer, is actually six foot, six foot ten off the floor. So unless you're a really tall person, uh, it doesn't bother me. It's one, well, almost a foot above my head. Um, so it's pretty good. And like I said, it's, like I said, when I said a, a well-engineered trailer, look all the reinforcement on checker plate. It's a, it's a pretty well done trailer. Uh, anyway, I'll, um, now I'm going to get my, my pride and joy and park it underneath and show you what it looks like. Trust your engineering skills and, uh, and, um, and put it underneath the trailer. Uh, then uh, I'll just close the garage door. So now this is a trailer hanging up there, plenty of clearance above the car and um, every time I see this trailer hanging up there it just puts a smile on my face because I know that for the rest of my life I don't have to worry about the trailer being in the way. And uh, sometimes you forget about it because you always look down and you, you don't even realize the trailer is up there. And, but trust me, this keeps on giving because every time you look up and you see the trailer hanging up there, it just puts a smile on your face. Um, so thank you for watching. And uh, like I said, I don't recommend, you know, just be careful if you're doing something like this. Uh, always be on, on the caution, on, on the side of caution and safety and uh, but uh, once you do it if you do design something like this it's the best thing you ever done okay thanks for watching again have a nice day bye bye